YouTube, what's going on, baby? Two Tone Sports here. We're back at it again with another mock draft. This one, we are going to do the draft off of the team's top needs, obviously, except we're going to head over to the Draft Network's team's top needs. That's where we're going to pull them. We're either picking number one need or number two need based off of value at that time of their pick so with that being said we're going to jump into this please like comment subscribe hit that bell notification showing love is free on youtube i greatly appreciate the love all right so with this first pick we're going to actually have the texans move up to number one so we're forcing this trade i know what their biggest need is we're going to go over here Boom, boom, boom. Their biggest need is QB or wide receiver. So guess what? You don't trade up to number one without taking a QB. And in this, we're taking Bryce Young at number one. Bryce Young is going to be their franchise. Yeah, he's got a little bit of a size issue, but he's got all the rest. Um, and And that's really it. We got number two here. So, we are actually going to make a move again for the Bears. And you are going to see the Raiders move up. The Chicago Bears are going to trade twice, two times in the first two picks, okay? <clears throat> They're taking number two, going to move back to seven. They're going to get the Raiders first round, third round this year, first and second next year. Yes, it's a big trade. Um, you're going from seven to two. Everybody knows what they want, so we're not even going to waste time here. We're forcing this. So... We're going to go over to Draft Network. I know what their biggest needs are. QB. They need a QB. This is not right. They need a QB. So, that being said, Derek Carr is not going to be there. They're probably going to trade Derek Carr to the Saints. I'll make that trade later on just so you guys can see it. Um... Mm -mm -mm -mm. CJ Stroud's going to the Raiders. Uh, it's a great pick for them. Great move by the Bears. CJ Stroud is an all-around QB. I think he's going to personally. I think he's going to be better than Bryce Young. Um, his ceiling is high. He's mobile. I think he's just better. His size is better. And he's going into a hell of an offense. You guys, They got weapons. They just got to build their line is really what's happening here. They got to build their line. So, now we got the Cardinals. Um, they're on the clock. They're not going to be moving, but they need edge and corner. So, that being said, there he is. The Cardinals are taking Will Anderson. People call him a generational talent. He was in the Heisman voting. I love this kid. He's got a motor. He's replacing JJ. Massive, massive shoes to fill. But he's got the ability to do it. I don't know if he's ever going to play up to J.J.'s level. That's very drastic to say for any player really coming out of the draft. But let's see. I think he's good. He's got the speed. He's got the talent. He's got the technique. He's got to play a little lower. Welcome to the Cardinals, Will. Now we got the Colts on the clock. It's my eyes. They need QB. There's number one right there. They're going QB Will Levis. Okay. Will Levis. And I, I really wanted to show you guys the draft network because I've been getting some comments. Oh, the team needs this. The team needs that. I honestly, I pay for the draft network. Um, I've done a lot of research into these teams, into these holes, the free agents that you guys have pending. I'm doing this to show you before I pick, so you guys understand, so you guys see it not only here, 
with needs, because A, some of these aren't really the best. We're also going to double down on the draft work as on the draft network, geez, as well. So, Will Levis, I think he's going to be good. He's got the arm. He's got the talent. He's played in a good NFL-style offense in Kentucky. Threw some scary balls, honestly. Um, but other than that, his receivers didn't really help him out. I, I got to be truthful with you. And uh, good offense to go in, man. You got Jonathan Taylor as your security blanket. You got Pittman. You got Pierce. You got big body Jelani. I love it. So five on the clock. This is probably where I would make another move here if I'm Seattle, depending – on um, what they have on the board, but they're not, they don't need QB. They really, they really don't need QB because um, the reports are they're re-signing Gino. And here, what are we saying? Guard, center, guess what? You're getting Jalen Carter at five. That's my decision here. Jalen Carter, you're getting at five. Um, crazy. You're getting Jalen Carter in that Russell Wilson trade. Still. Um, there's not much to say about him. He's an all-around player. He's got the talent. He's got the body. He's got the speed. He's got the strength. Got the technique. Um, it's crazy. Love the pick. He's going to go there. You need help on your um, defensive line. And he's going to do that for you. He's going to do that for you. So, number six. I always go corner here. Um, for Detroit, we're going to double down over here, see what they're saying. Detroit Lions, wide receiver, linebacker, corner. Okay, I don't think wide receiver is the biggest need. Yeah, you need linebacker. Your secondary was weak. Okay, secondary was weak. So we're going my top corner in the draft, Christian Gonzalez. Get him in there. Teach him at a... If we're going to draft him, geez, this is going well. Um, get him in there. Get him in that defense. He's an all-around corner. I love this kid. Um, not much to say about him. He's going to be in every play. He's lengthy. He's got the speed. He's got the ball skills. He's definitely got the talent. He's going to help your defense immediately. He's going to be a day-one starter. It's necessary to definitely bring in this secondary. Let's continue to watch this thing spin, huh? I'm probably going to have to cut this video shortly. Um, and Christian Gonzalez going to Detroit. It's a need. Either going him, Devon Witherspoon, Joey Porter. And if you're really, really high on Brian Branch, you go him. But I, I think that's really your corners. All right, we actually had to reset the video. We had to cut it out. The internet monster got to me. Internet shut down. I'm not too sure what happened. So Christian Gonzalez here. Okay. Now we finally got the Bears back over here. The Bears' biggest need. I like going edge for them. That's what I'm going to do. Wide receiver, tackle, edge. Um, they sit here. They're going to actually screw over the Falcons. They're a little bit upset that. Anderson and Carter are off the board, but it's fine. They're going to go Tyree Wilson. They're gonna, that's going to be their edge of the future. He's 6'6". Six, six. He's a monster. Um, uh, there's not much to say about the pick. You're, you're not going to teach size. I mean, the dude is a freak. Dude is a freak with size. He's fast, length, uh, in every play. Good kid out of Texas Tech. He's going to be that strong edge that they're going to finally have since Khalil Mack. Um, here we are. The Falcons. Now the Falcons. I have Tyree Wilson going there often. So we're going to go here. Atlanta. Edge and corner. Okay. What do we see here? Edge. I love Miles Murphy. And guess what? That's what we're going to do. Miles Murphy, the big boy out of Clemson. I think this kid is very good. Um, they need it. They need some defensive line help, and honestly, that's going to be your guy. That's going to be your guy. 
So moving on to the Panthers here. Y'all know what I like for the Panthers. You got QB here. Okay. I am going to actually go on a reach here. No, I'm not. I see Anthony Richardson constantly here. It's so hard not to pick him. And, like, look, it's just so hard not to pick him here. So, Anthony Richardson's going to be in Carolina. The boy continues to play in nice weather. I talk about him constantly. He's got, like, the highest upside out of I think any of these rece uh, any of these quarterbacks in this draft, he's got a cannon. Just teach him how to be a QB. Teach him how to be a QB, and you're gonna see him thrive. His athletic ability is there. His size is there. His arm is there. Teach him how to be a QB, please. I want to watch him. I want to watch him be good, please. Now we got the Eagles. Now, I got somebody that comes, watches every one of my videos, and grades my Eagles pick. Thank you. Shout out to you. Here we go to Philadelphia. Running back, interior offensive line, linebacker, corner. We're going to switch this one up. Should we switch this one up? Hmm. Mm. No. I I love Lucas Van Ness to you guys. It's so hard for me not to take Lucas Van Ness. It really is so hard for me. I have an idea. We're going to take Lucas Van Ness here. Um... You guys have Graham and Quinn going as a free agent. You're going to have to get younger at defense. You need to get younger in secondary. Um, I think Lucas Van Ness is a great pick. The dude's got a great motor, great skill set. He honestly has a great skill set, great skill set. Um, he's going to fit very well on that team. I love the pick. What do you grade it? I'm interested in what you grade it. So, we're moving on to the Titans, wide receiver, and tackle. Now, we could do something interesting here, Titans fans. Yeah. I'm going Quentin Johnston for the Titans. Going Quentin Johnston. He's going to replace that A.J. Brown. He's not going to be A.J. Brown, but he's got the body. He's got the size. He needs to get a little bit more physical if he wants to be A.J. Brown. Um, he's not that receiver, though. He's speedy. He's got the length. Um, I think people are so focused on his stat line for the Natty, the national championship game. Um, I think they need to get that out of their head. Georgia was like the best defense in the country the past two years. Max Duggan was under pressure that entire game. Johnston was open. Johnston was open. Do not put your entire thought process on this kid's ability on just that game. You need to watch other games. Watch the Michigan game. Watch other games. We got the Jets. This is interesting. I keep seeing the Jets getting... Possibly getting Rodgers. I see the Jets getting... Lamar. Jimmy G. Um, I'm going to do this draft off of the Jets getting Jimmy G. Jimmy G. I know you can't really trade for him because he's, you know, up. But look, they got Lance and Purdy on their roster. That's who they got. They're okay going with that moving forward. Oh, 
I'm sorry. The Jets are not up. The Houston Texans are up. We'll get there in a second. Sorry. So, Texans, QB, we already got him. Bryce Young. Center, D-line. What do we got here? QB, done. Wide receiver, tackle, edge. Mm. They peaked me, but they didn't get me going. Jordan Addison's going to the Texans. Sorry for the mix-up there with the picks. I do apologize. Jordan Addison's going to go to the Texans. Give um, Bryce Young a little bit more weapons there. He needs it. Let this kid come in, be successful. They have a pretty good offense. You got Pierce in the backfield. You got the new head coaching. Um, just, just let this kid be successful. And, and honestly, go line, go line now in this next position. I don't care if you're deep at tackles. I, I don't, I don't care. Get depth. Get depth. He has a size issue. Get depth. So now we're on to the Jets. Sorry, sorry to you Texans fans. That was. Not fair of, you know, kicking you out of the first pick. No, I'm kidding. Um, Jets fans, I keep having you guys get a tackle. In this, I'm going to say Jimmy Garoppolo goes to you guys. Okay? Jimmy Garoppolo is going to go to the Jets, and if that is the case, they are going to take Paris Johnson. Jimmy G is going to need help. You can't rely on Becton. I understand the backups and whatever. They did all right. You, you can't rely on Becton. Get another tackle in. Move somebody into guard if you need to. Paris Johnson is a going to be a phenomenal tackle. The reason I went with him is he could definitely play tackle. So if you're like looking to replace Becton, that's the option. That's why I went him over Skaronski because some... NFL GMs have Skaronsky as a guard. So some people have him kicking into guard. So that's why we're going to go Paris Johnson here. I think it's the biggest need on the team right now, assuming you get Garoppolo. The Patriots. QB, they don't need that. Tackle, edge. So we got New England. Wide receiver, I agree, I agree, and I agree. So, that being said, we got wide receiver, interior, and linebacker. Don't be surprised if this is the pick, but in this case, it's not going to be. Thus, we are going to go. You know what? We're going to mix it up. I go, if he's there, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go Trenton Simpson. I go receiver for you guys a good amount. Um, Trenton Simpson's going to go there. He's Bill Belichick loves very, very smart linebackers, a do-it-all linebacker. Trenton Simpson's going to be it. Just top-notch kid coming out of Clemson. Just needs to put on a little bit more size, and he's going to fit in that team very well. He's going to fit in that team very, very well. That's all I'm going to say. So, this is if Rodgers doesn't go to Vegas, hmm, where else is he going to go? Interesting. Jets have Garoppolo. Rodgers stays put. All this is smoke and mirrors. Rodgers loves a little drama. He's going on his little dark retreat, and then he's going to announce some stuff. Hey, he may even retire. You get nothing from it. Either way, boom, Green Bay is sitting here. Do you go with Love? Do you go with Jordan Love? There's a simple answer here. You do. You do. So, Green Bay Packers' biggest need. What is this? Okay. 
Green Bay Packers' biggest need. Wide receiver, tight end, tackle, edge. Guess what? I'm going to sit here and tell you. Wide receiver is deep. Tight end, really deep. Edge, pretty deep as well. Do they need a true tackle? I'm going Peter Skaronsky. The reason I'm going Skaronsky is because of what I explained before. Skaronsky is a tackle. He has the ability to be an all-pro tackle, but guess what? This kid can go into guard. Okay, if you bring Rodgers back, if you go with Love, if you go with any QB out there, you need time. If you have Jones and Dylan still back there, they need a lane. I think it's a great pick at 15. Um, if you're going to trade Rodgers, you're going to get another pick as well. Probably higher. So I wouldn't worry about it, but I get it. You need, you want a tight end. You want a receiver. Second and third round, baby. Skronsky's it at this point. Skronsky is it at this moment. Great value. He's there. I get it. Washington. Okay. Inside, linebacker, corner. Big one is the last one. Corner. Not on here. Don't know why. Well, they're getting Devon Witherspoon. Devon Witherspoon, all around corner. Some people's number one. Some people's number one. He's... An all-around corner. I don't know what else to say. He's physical. He needs to put on a little bit more size. Um, tame the aggression a little bit. But um, he's it. And you really need a fix in your secondary. You really need a fix. Moving on, we got the Pittsburgh tackle linebacker corner. What do we got over here? Tackle interior. Interior, linebacker, corner. I consistently do tackle here. And I am going to take Broderick Jones. I like Broderick Jones. Uh, he's a big boy. They need him in Pittsburgh. Um, they need to help Pickett keep pff, keeping on his feet. Najee needs to get going a little bit earlier in the season. Uh, if you're going to want this kid to develop, if you're going to want this this team to turn around and not be a fringe playoff team every year, because let's be honest, two years ago you guys snuck into the playoffs. Last year, you didn't belong. Um, rebuild your line. Rebuild your line on both sides. Broderick Jones is going to be it. He's going to be good. Okay. Good. Especially his first year. He's going to be good. You're not going to see all pro out of this kid, I don't think. He's going to be good, though. Moving on, we got Detroit. So, earlier with Detroit, we went corner. Christian Gonzalez. Okay. Now with Detroit, you're sitting here. They need secondary help. Okay, you had corner. You had a linebacker fly off the board already. So, we're going to take another look. You guys are going to call this a reach. I don't think it's a reach. I love him. I'm going to say... I mean, to be honest, linebacker is not, not too bad either. Drew Sanders is pretty good, but he's more of a hand in the dirt. Um, my receiver linebacker corner. Could go receiver here. You didn't really need Nascra. Noah Sewell's gonna go to the Noah Sewell's gonna go to the Lions. I love this pick. It's necessary. Um there's really not no other way to put it. I think he's an all around linebacker. I don't think he gets enough credit. He's got the speed. Once again, he I wanna see him put on a little size, but I like this kid's tape. Turn it on. Please before you judge this pick, turn on his tape. And that's really going to help out your secondary. Brady's retired. Brady, Brady's retired. 
What does that mean? Okay. Here, QB, tight end, guard, center, defensive. All right. Here. QB, edge, linebacker, corner. I agree with all those. So we're going to go and analyze the QB position here. Wow. Jaron Hall's not bad for a deeper pick. Um, but I'm going to do what you guys think is a little bit of a reach for some of you. A little reach for some of you. I think they're going to go Tanner McKee, but not yet because they're going to explore some free agent options. Who knows? But actually, I have them taking Tanner McKee. They want to get younger at QB. Tanner McKee looks good. Coming out of Stanford, so you know he's smart. Um, I think the kid's got the talent. Uh, I don't think he's going to be like, wow, this kid's ridiculous in athleticism. But he's got the tangibles. He's got the technique. And let's be honest, they need help. They need help. QB, tight end, guard. I mean, they need to revamp that offensive line. And what better way to do it? Start with your QB, now build again. Okay, you just got a Super Bowl, build again. All right, so Seattle, we went Jalen Carter with the first pick. Okay, guard, center. Okay, what do they say here? QB, they don't need QB. Boom, boom, boom. We got interior. Oh, that could be fun. That could be really fun. I don't have, what do you call it, that high. I really don't. Ooh, this could be fun. You feeling what I'm saying? Felix and Duque Uzama. Okay. I get it. You went Jalen Carter. He's going to play interior. You're going to kick and Duque Uzama outside. All right. Your defensive line is now done. Done. I have to make sure you guys have Yuchenna Nwosu on another deal. But, man, this is the move you want to make. This is the move you want to make. I love this. I don't see any issue with this. Your offense is pretty good. You could go receiver here. If you really wanted to, to build around that, you could go offensive line. A little bit of a reach for them, for the rest of them. But... Dude, complete your defense complete your defensive line. Now build. I love this. Gino's coming back. Sorry, the headphone died. Um And this is what you need to do. Trenches, baby. We've learned it. How many years in the NFL? Trenches. You win in the trenches. Alright? So we got the Chargers. Wide receiver, tackle, linebacker, corner. My Chargers don't think they really need a corner. I'm a Chargers fan. If you guys have not caught on yet, I agree with the right tackle. Interior defensive line, I also agree with. Receiver, I agree with. I agree with linebacker, too. At this point, as a Chargers fan, I want to see tackle. Okay? I'm tired of the bull crap. I'm tired of the bull crap of people getting hurt this and that I, I really am i'm tired of it but we can't we can't do that jackson smith and the jigbo is on the board you're gonna take him he's a phenomenal route runner i don't think he gets enough credit as a route runner he's got the speed crazy speed he's got the hands let him go there let him go there please give this to the chargers Please give it to the Chargers. Kellen Moore came in. They need to revamp this. They need to revamp this offense. You're you're way, way too reliant. Way too reliant on Keenan and honestly Eckler. Way too reliant on Eckler. Um Shout out to Splatty, by the way. He's a fan in the comment section, Chargers fan. Shout out to him. Moving on, we got Baltimore. Wide receiver, edge, corner. We're going to go over here. 
because you guys keep saying this. Okay, let's go B more, wide receiver and corner. Yes, you guys do need wide receiver. Is Zay Flowers it right now? I don't think so, because you guys really need that all-around receiver. Jalen Hyatt, eh. It's deep, man. This is deep. I like A.T. Perry out of Wake Forest. I like Marvin Mims. I mean, let's be honest. I like Zay. I like Downs. I like Parker Washington. He's a he's a dark horse for sure. But, like, dude, this is, this is deep. This is not a, like, at this point, at 22, you don't need to do this. So, we're going to go the other option. Joey Porter Jr. is going to the Baltimore Ravens. Imagine that. Dad was a Steeler. Son's a Raven. Oof, that's how you split a household, baby. But I love it. Kid's an all-around corner. He's going to get up and get physical. He can make a tackle. Um... You wanted it. You want a kid and a picture a corner. This kid's got it. He's always by the ball, always in good position. I think he's gonna fit right in with that Baltimore mentality as well. So now we got the Vikings. This says interior linebacker corner. What do we got here? Minnesota QB. So we're going, could go Brian Breeze here, man. This would be phenomenal depth. I don't, you know what? They're going to go Drew Sanders. And there's a reason I say this. He's going to come in. He's going to learn from Hunter and Smith. They're going to have a hell of a rotation. Um, this kid's an all-around player. He's going to put his hand in the dirt. Probably most of the time, but oof, he could do it all. And to learn from those two, golly, that's good. That really is. That's good. I, I love this. Uh, Drew Sanders to Minnesota. I don't really have this happening in many of my mocks. I don't think any. I have to look back, but I kind of really am starting to like this. Yeah, I'm really starting to like this. So. For Jacksonville, guard, center, D-back. I already have in my head who they're going. So, Jacksonville, wide receiver, tight end, tackle. I don't agree with wide receiver because you guys have Ridley. And you're, you're getting Ridley. Um, Evan Ingram's gone, so you guys are getting Michael Mayer. Michael Mayer, in my eyes, all around tight end. He can block. Um, he can... <laughs> He's like that Antonio Gates, Tony Gonzalez body. He's going to box them out. He's kind of going to play football like a basketball player. He's got great hands. He just needs a little bit more length. Always finds an open zone. Knows how to run a seam. Uh, kid made plays in Notre Dame. And guess what? Picture him with T-Law. Woo-hoo-hoo, baby. You guys got a nice team. I love it. I love it. All right. We got the Giants. Wide receiver. Tight end, I don't believe in tight end. Center, linebacker. You guys got Bellinger. I keep saying I love that kid. So, what do we got here? They're going to reside 90 dimes. That's not it. Wide receiver, tight end, interior, linebacker, corner. I think Giant Sands will riot, but I think at this point, Wide receiver, yeah, you could go him, but like I said, you're going to have depth there. You guys are going to go Osiris Torrance. Your guard, one of your guards, I forget if it was your left or right, not good. He's not good. You got, if you're going to re-sign Jones, give him some time. Draft this guard. You guys have cap. You guys also have cap. Um, come on, do the right thing. Draft a young guard, get him in there. Dabble loves the trenches. It's easy. This one's easy. Draft Osiris Torrance, arguably the best guard if Skaronsky stays out of tackle. 
this is it. This is what you got to do. You got to help. And this is going to help Saquon as well. So Cowboys wide receiver, interior linebacker. Don't want that playing in the bottom corner. Uh, interior, interior linebacker corner. Guess what? I already had it in my head. Brian Brees is going there. What a defensive line. Picture him in Parsons. Come on, man. He's going to take a double team. You're not going to be able to double team Parsons. Put them both on the same side. This is going to be tough. You got it. You're going to get Brees there. Brees is falling because of injury history and consistency. If he wasn't injured, this kid's a top 15 pick. Top 15 pick. I don't know how else to put it. Love it. Um, it's going to fit right in. So, Bills, guard, center, D-back. Buffalo. Interesting. I have it different here. Okay, we're going to look at interior O-line here. I like this kid. I like this kid, but I also like Luke Whippler. I like Whippler. I think Whippler's going to be good. I don't think they need to do it here. Okay. Guards. Tough, man. Tough. I don't think they're taking in consideration that... Um, I don't think they're taking in consideration that... Jordan Poyer's up. I don't know if he returns, but... I want to look at some safeties here. I like the I like JL Skinner. I like JL Skinner. He's kid's got speed, but this case we're gonna take Antonio Johnson here. Okay, they're not taking in consideration the safeties, and you guys got pretty torched up against the Bengals. Um, with that being said, Antonio Johnson is gonna be a great fit there. Um, Assuming Poyer walks, he's going to come in and just pretty much do that. He's a thumper. Poyer hits hard. He's going to get down and tackle. Johnson's going to be an immediate replacement. Uh, I really like the kid. I really do. I really like the kid. Uh, all right. Bengals, tackle, defensive interior, and corner. They read my mind. Okay. Okay. This point corner, yeah, you got Cam Smith, but guess what? You're gonna continue to bolster it. Darnell Washington's going to Cincinnati. All right, the reason for that, he's another tackle out there. Dude is like six seven, six eight, can block like none other. He's gonna be the probably the best blocking tight end in the league. Give him two years, he will be. Uh he can run. He can run around. He's very good after the catch, and he's got great hands for a big dude. He's got great hands. Teach him uh, how to box out a little bit more. Get his routes a little bit crisper. Ooh, him and Burrow is gonna be nasty duo. Nasty duo. So now we got the Saints on the board. This one's easy. Hendon Hooker's going to the Saints. Um, this one. This one's really, really easy. Um. You guys need a QB. This is gonna be a future. Uh, I didn't even look because I'm just I just know already. New Orleans QB tight end edge interior. You guys are going QB. You guys are back in the first round. Hendon Hooker, give this kid a chance. I know he's older. I know we got hurt, but everything else is there. Every single thing else is there. Give him a chance, please. Give him a chance. All right. Now we got the Chiefs. Wide receiver, D-line. Wide receiver, tackle, interior. They could go Zay. Oh, he fits right in there, man. Yeah. They're going to get Zay Flowers. I, I just think... Oh, I just think he's a good fit there. I really do. I think he's a really good fit there. Um... Oof. He's speedy. He's nasty after the catch. He's just a dream for KC. He really is. He's a dream for KC. Damn. 
Now we got the Eagles back up on the clock. Okay, where's Phil? Running back, eh. Interior, linebacker, corner. Interesting. Interior, linebacker, corner. Now, I was thinking about this. Okay? I was thinking about this. And I want to do some research. Right in front of you guys. Okay? So you guys don't see... Uh, probably should type in Eagles here, huh? So you guys don't see... Some bullshit behind the scenes. I like doing. I like over the cap, by the way. Um, here we go. Now we're loading. So. Oof. Fletcher Cox is a big hit. You have four million in cap space. Okay. Four million. Look, Bradbury's up. How's your cap in 2024? Boom. 47. You got some space. Okay. So we're going to close this before all these ads start popping up. Shout out, Tiffany. Um, there's a reason I did that. Did you see that dead money? 18 mil. You guys are going to do something with Fletcher. I really do think so. Um, with that being said, you got Jordan Davis. Fletcher's there. I just wanted to show corner is a need. Bradbury's gone. You're getting Cam Smith out of South Carolina. He's going to fit in perfect. Bradbury's gone. Slay's gone the following year. It's hard for me not to take edge and corner in the same draft for you guys, especially in the first round. It's such, it's such a like skill position for both of them. You're in the first round. The talent's there. Just do it. Honestly, do it. So this is a bit of a longer one today. Uh, we got two trades in the top three. We got what? One, two, three, four, five. Wow, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six QBs off the board. I love it. I love it. Okay, we got Smith Najigba to the Chargers. Michael Mayer going to the Jags. Giants fans getting their guard. Tyree Wilson going to the, the Bears, even though you guys moved back and got some nice capital. Um, Skronsky going to the Pack. I mean, come on. This is a nice, well-rounded draft. So... Thank you guys for watching Two Tone Sports here and hope you guys had a great day or have a great day depending on when you're watching this. Showing love is free as always. Have some fun, baby.